Today, I want to encourage you to wash at the cross. But what does that mean? We can look at Jesus's journey from conviction to crucifixion and see what he paid. Jesus was beaten beyond recognition. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was beaten for our transgressions. The wrath that we deserved was placed upon him. And he struggled to carry his physical cross at the end there because he was beaten and whipped so badly that he needed help to carry it. And then when he got to Calvary, he was nailed on it through his hands and through his feet. And then he was lifted up high to die in excruciating death. And why? Why did he do that? If we are going to continue to pick up our sins through guilt and shame and fear, then what he did on the cross would be for nothing. But we know that Jesus was sufficient enough. The price that he paid on the cross was sufficient enough to pay for our past, present, and future sins. So ask yourself, was it enough to pay for your sin? The next time you make a mistake, the next time you slip up, the next time you sin, I want you to go back to the cross and accept what Jesus Christ has done for you. Because once you freely accept what he's done for you, you can freely give. That's what walking in freedom with Jesus Christ looks like. So which one of you want to walk in freedom today? I hope that word encourages you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a biblical word of encouragement.